I wouldn't know. What did you do with her? Would you like to look in my bag? Do you want to look under the bed? She hasn't been home. She hasn't been to work. Nobody's seen her. What did you do with her? You have to find yourself a new bone, Mr. Lavery. This is becoming very tedious. Well, you have no idea how tedious. Tell me. Maybe security can convince you to leave. I have a better idea. Answer the man's question. Kendall's free to do as she pleases. So, so what happened here? You just felt a little bit of heat and stashed her someplace? You're delusional. Well, I'm legal. Yeah, you see, as of right now, I have custody of my unborn child. You got yourself a clever attorney. Good for you. You still haven't answered the question. If you want to wait for Kendall, I suggest you do it some other place. You know, we could drag you in front of a judge. I mean, we could do that. Yeah, send some press, maybe. What do you think? You can drag me in front of as many judges as you like. The answer still won't change. I don't know where Kendall is. But since you're enjoying throwing documents around, that's something here that might interest you. Do you recognize the handwriting? Or should we call in an expert and have it analyzed? Kendall no longer wants me to be her doctor, as you can see for yourself. That is what it says. Well, where's the relief? Isn't that exactly what you wanted? There's no reason, no explanation. Why'd she cut you off? My, you are the busy man, Mr. Slater. Don't you have your hands full championing another woman's cause? We're talking about you right now. Is this the part where you threaten me? Because if it is, I'd like to fast forward and have you leave, both of you. You realize that little note that you're carrying around that's not going to get you off the hook, right? You know that. You want to know why Kendall ran? I blame you, Mr. Lavery. You bossed her around. You bullied her. Now you've taken full control of the baby before it's born. You want to blame somebody for disappearing? Blame yourself. Wow, you're just going to lay this all on me, right? That's nice. That's really nice, but it's not going to work. You beat your chest. You told everyone you only wanted what was best for the child. The only person who cares about that child's welfare is Kendall. She ran to protect her baby. Mm. Doctor's orders? I would ask her new doctor. My only regret is I may never see her again. But fortunately, she may never see either of you. you want the truth about why she ran? Look to yourselves. Leave me out of it. Everything all right? You okay? As well as can be expected. Gentlemen. I think the court order was a very good idea, considering this. What is this? Found in Madden's office. Adoption papers. Oh, my God. Kendall already signed away our son. So, obviously, Madden knows where Kendall is. He's been every move she makes. Including these. I think I'm gonna get my man on him, too. If Madden sees a crowd in his rearview mirror, he's gonna be more cautious. We're okay with one man. We? So, we're actually working together now. The tail's not enough. We gotta get on phone calls and, and, and emails, right. home, work, on everything. No, no, I'll take care of that. We follow two trails, maybe we'll get lucky. We don't have a lot of time here. If we don't find Kendall before the baby is born, you will never see your son.